hello guys welcome to Amit things in this video we will learn how we can install the current Java version that is Java JDK 21 on Windows 11 let's see at first go to the web browser I am using Chrome you can use any web browser here in type Oracle Java and press enter on pressing enter the official website is visible click on it now here it is the official website click download java now here you can see the download section java 21 is visible i told you java 21 is jdk 21 so here it is jdk 21 we want for windows so i'll click here and click on the installer that is exe file 160 mb click on it to download download started let's wait for few seconds it's only 164 mb the download completed here is the exe file right click and open to begin the installation minimize the installation started click next here is the path where in java jdk will get installed we will check this later click on next keep it as it is installation started installation completed click close now let us go to the path if you remember it was in C drive program files now here it is Java click on it JDK 21 bin open it and right click and copy this path we will set the environment variable go to start type type environment variables click on edit the system environment variables click open here in under system properties advanced environment variables click on it now here in go to system variables go below path double click go to new click on it now right click and paste the same path ok java jdk to jdk 21 mean that is java 21 click ok click ok ok and the last ok now we successfully installed it go to start type cmd click on open to open the command prompt now to verify the installation type java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter here you can see we successfully installed java 21 ok now click close let us run our first java program now now since we have set the environment variables also we can create our first java program in any drive I'll go I'll go for D drive, right click, click a folder, let's say I'll go for Amit project, I'll open it, now right click and uh, create your new text document first, I'll name it let's say Studiopedia, my Java file name, dot, dot, I'll just remove this and type Java, I'll just keep the cursor here and press enter. Do you want to change the extension? Yes, from txt to Java. Click, click yes. Now we have our Java file. If you are unable to get the extension here, it's very easy. Go to view. Here in go to show and click on file name extensions. I already enabled it, so everything is visible here. After that, right click. You can open it with Notepad plus plus or Notepad ok many people prefer notepad because they are beginners so I'll click on it now let us type our first program remember your class name should be similar to your file name so here in I'll type studiopedia else there will be an error in java now within, now within that we will type public static void main I'll explain this ok now this is where we will type something to print herein we type system dot out dot println system is basically a predefined class to provide access out is the output stream and this is println function is to print a string so whatever I'll print inside this will work will get displayed amid things let's say semicolon file 
and save all. Now what is public static void mean? You need to always add this. Public is the access specifier. Static is basically it allows the main function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance. Okay, so this will allow the main function to be called. Now void is a return type. Okay, main is the function wherein actually the Java application begins. This is for command line arguments. That's it. Go to file and save it. That's it. Now herein we need to reach this path on command line type cmd on Windows 11 and press enter. So you have reached here directly. Now we need to run this program. So I'll just directly run it Java. Java C because we first compile a Java program then we run it. So this is compiling. So first we are compiling our studio period or Java file. When I'll press enter if there is no error. A class file will generate here. Check it press enter. So there is no error and a, and a class file generated. Okay. That means we successfully ran it. Java space studyopedia to run it. That's it. Press enter and you can see whatever we tried printing that is Amit things text is visible here. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So this is how you can run our first Java program after installing it. Thank you for watching the video.